Is 24 Sussex Drive worth maintaining? No, I don't think so. I think it should be, if it's to remain the Prime Minister's residence, place of residence, it should be torn down and rebuilt with the best Canadian green technology possible. Or he should be housed somewhere else. I don't know if that site is uh, security-wise the best location. But I think that house is also past its due best before date. <laughs> I think we should just uh, get a new one because I think it's going to cost, if I understand well, they, it would be better for them to just raise that one and start over, and I'm fine with that. Yeah. I think uh, those renovations can go towards better things, like the money, I mean, Indigenous issues, education, you know, free university would be great. But um, I think maintain it as like a heritage building, but if you're maintaining it for someone to live there, I think, you know, as society changes and this country evolves, I think it's time to maybe like choose a different home. Absolutely. Yeah, I think it is. And why do you think can you elaborate? Oh, it's a historical part of Canada. Although our history seems to be devalued these days, but I think it's worth spending the money. We spend lots of other money on more interesting things than that. So I think it should spend the money. This is a no residence. It has outlived its purpose, should be destroyed build something new, and we can do this. I can't even recall who built it first, but it is a part of our heritage, I think. And I think that us, you know, we still are, have a prime minister, uh, and I think that it's fair that we provide them with a home that's uh, safe to live in and so on. And it's, you know, it's old. It's been take a lot of money, I know, but I think it's worth it. Yeah. If the repairs need to be done to a building that's maybe historic and maybe has a meaning to people, then things need to be fixed. But 37 million, it's quite a hefty amount. So maybe spread it out a little bit, maybe prioritize. Like there's ways of not having to spend so much money all in one shot. You can uh, maybe do gradual improvements. I mean, we've got indigenous people no running water. <laughs> so when you compare it to that, no. <laughs> you know, I think the I think everyone deserves to have clean water. I think that that's where the money should be going right now. We do have a tendency in it, as a young country to dispose of our history. And it's important that we don't do that because there is an aspect of history that we want to maintain for future generations. Absolutely, yes. Um, we're part of the G7. Um, we, have a, a, we have a world image to uphold. If you look elsewhere, if you look at Macron in, the, uh, in France, beautiful buildings. Um, the US White House, beautiful building. Um, why wouldn't we have a, a beautiful building to uh, house our most senior government official? Yes, of course, because at the end of the day, uh, regardless of which Prime Minister is there, it, it stands for who we are as Canadians. And um, it's just like anything. It's like it's, it's the place where our Prime Minister lives and he represents the country. And it should always be shown in a, a positive light, especially when foreign dignitaries and other people from around the world come to see it. There's two points to that one. I, you know, for history, it's worth uh, maintaining, but I think Mr. Uh, Trudeau can afford to have his own house personally, uh, just like all the rest of us Canadians live and own our own houses. I think he could pretty much live on his own. That's my opinion. Well, I disagree with that, but because I do believe that the leader of the country should have, uh, well, a historical place to live in, and I think they should fix 24 Sussex, but I think that the contractors working on it need to stay honest as well and make sure they're not gouging. I mean, it's our taxpayers' money that's building that, so. But I'd like to see it redone. Well, you know, well, so like I said, I'm from the States. I'm sure they spend a lot of money to maintain the White House. It is a status of the country, so, and it is historic, so I would say that it's probably worth it to maintain it because in the long run, if you don't make those um, basic maintenance repairs then it costs more in the long run and then you're in a bigger um bigger tr like trouble so i guess if it's cosmetic no not so much but if it's critical to the construction of the building then yes